ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, every member of the Goon Squad. What is up? What's up, guys? What is up? Welcome to episode one of Top Tips on Tuesday with Goonzig. This is a series where I get to hop in and discuss my top tips on a subject, whether it be map tips, gun tips, score streak tips, or just general tips that I find useful while playing Call of Duty World War II. In this episode, we are tackling my top tips for beginners and newcomers. So hopefully this will help you guys get some better gameplays when you get your hands on World War II. Let's jump right into the video. In my opinion, there are three big tips I have for any gamers getting their hands on World War II for the first time. Play slow, experiment with guns, and try different game modes. Try out different game modes and just put some time into the game. If you follow these three tips, you will be able to pinpoint what setup, class, and game type is the best for you and you're honestly gonna be able to pull off some decent gameplays as you dive into multiplayer. To start off, I found it was very helpful to play slow. You guys know the old story, the tortoise in the hare? It proves right there that faster is not always better, not always better, sometimes, but not in this case. Of course, your instincts are gonna be to run and gun, dive into the gunfights, and stay right into the action, but you also have to remember that sometimes we need to chill. We need to chill, man. We need a second to heal, reload, and get ready for the next gunfight. So don't be afraid to take your time in the game, play positions, and move slowly. My biggest point for this tip is to use every single piece of cover that you can. Use every single piece of cover that you can to your advantage. A lot of the barrels, broken walls, and windows in this game provide for some insane head glitch spots, and trust me, it's way easier to get a double kill and, and even triple kills when you're mostly hidden behind a piece of cover, you know, in this little head glitch. Some people may tend to think that this playstyle is sort of campy, and I would only agree if you are actually camping. Sometimes I catch people, you know, sitting at the very, very back of the map for the whole game, and in my mind, that's camping. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy, guys. Don't be that guy. I've trained the goon squad better than that, but if you're playing positions, it's a different story. Moving around the map while using cover to give you the advantage in gunfights is honestly smart. When it comes down to it, playing slow is actually just playing smart. The way I do this is I like to move around the map, control positions such as the B flag and domination. I like to find cover and pick up a couple of kills, then move on to a new position. I like to try to stay in the same area, but I change the position that I'm in for this simple reason. Most people will want to kind of avenge their deaths, they'll come looking for the person that killed them, so while they look at the old spot I was in, I'll actually take them down, gun them down from a new spot. Once things get a little too hectic, a little too hectic, you know, if you're defending B, you can start to get overrun. I find it's best to just ditch the area completely and find a new position to play. If the B flag starts to get overrun and you don't want to die, fall back, watch a flank. It's, it's just playing smart. Now, while you're playing positions, I am going to recommend that you go ahead and try out all of the guns in the game. Find out what works best for you. You may enjoy the SMGs, the rifles, or maybe maybe you're even a shotgun player. Maybe the MP40 has too much recoil, but the Type 100 suits you perfectly. It honestly just takes some time to figure out what guns you're good with and what guns you are bad with. So I suggest that you use the guns that you are most comfortable with in all situations. But the only way to figure that out is by using all the guns. So experiment, guys. Experiment with different guns and, and try out everything in the game. If you find you keep getting outgunned and you lose every gunfight, it may be time to try a new gun. It does come down to kind of overall playstyle, but I think the SMGs are really, really good for playing positions in World War II. I do enjoy some of the rifles, such as the STG, and even the LMGs aren't too, too bad. I just find the SMGs are really, 
really good. Like, all of the SMGs are really good. I like every single SMG in the game, and I can win most of my gunfights at almost any range, and they just feel right for me. Now, just because I like the SMGs doesn't mean everyone will. Like I said, it takes time and kind of experimentation to figure out what gun works best for you. Another thing that comes into consideration while playing multiplayer is which game mode you actually decide to hop into. I am going to be honest, modes like Domination and Hardpoint tend to have higher skilled players that like to get kills while playing the objective. A lot of these players are in it to win it, so if you find you are getting like absolutely destroyed, maybe try a different game mode, maybe Team Deathmatch. I find that experimenting and figuring out what game mode you do the best in can help you get more XP while you're playing, more bang for your buck. And it also allows you to, you know, actually enjoy the game. You'll actually enjoy the game a lot more. I personally always find that my teammates suck. So I'll play free for all where I only have myself to blame. I can only blame myself if I take the loss. Take some time and play around with different modes, guys. I promise you it will help in the long run. So those are my tips. If you guys play slow, experiment with guns, and try different game modes, you will be well on your way to having a good experience with Call of Duty World War II. The better you can do, the more fun you can have. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope these tips do help someone out there. Throw all of your questions, comments, and concerns down below. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.